sure she's wearing her blindfold? Yes, Father. I do hope this will help, Dr. White. I'm sure it will, Squire Gordon. A birthday surprise like this should be just the thing. Polly has been so listless since the death of her mother. I'm hoping this present will raise her spirits. Here we come, ready or not. Come on, Raffles. Can you guess, Polly? You love him. Happy birthday, princess. Oh, father, he's beautiful, just beautiful. No, he's handsome. Male horses are handsome. Well, I say he's beautiful. He's called Blackie. Oh, he needs a better name than that. Yes, something noble and heroic. Like thunder or lightning or cyclone. No, he's my beauty, my black beauty. <coughs> a splendid name for a splendid horse. <coughs> Very well, children. Off you go inside to Mrs. Bates, a birthday. John, would you stable Black Beauty and bring Dr. White's dog cart? Yes, sir. I still think lightning would be better. Clean out that horse stall. I am, Mr. Manley. I was picking up some fallen grain. Don't want to waste any. Seems to me that you're a liar, as well as being lazy. And a thief, Mr. Manley. Let's not forget that. And a thief. You didn't see my watch around here, did you? No, Mr. Manley. But if I do, I'll bring it straight to you. Ouch! <laughs> well, my, my, Mr. Filcher. Look what Black Beauty has just found. A clever horse, I would say, wouldn't you? Perhaps more so than some people. Oh, yes, Mr. Manley. A most clever horse. Mm. 
Ginger, my name is Merrylegs. My name, it would seem, is Black Beauty. Don't you worry about her. She believes all humans are cruel. If you'd had some of the cruel masters I've had, you wouldn't trust humans either. Some have fed me badly, goaded me with spurs, torn my mouth with the bit and beaten me with those One has taken a whip to you since you've been here. But they still have them. I've seen them. Take no notice. I've been very happy here. Merrileg says that only because he doesn't know how cruel humans can be. I don't know. I don't know. I, whose brothers and sisters were taken away to the black country to drag heavy carts of coal at the pits, surrounded by blazing furnaces and choking smoke, working long hours in the mines till they drop from exhaustion? If I hadn't been so small, they would have taken me too. The Black Country sounds like a terrible place. I hope I shall never be sent there. You see? That proves all humans are cruel and should never be trusted. Is Mr. Manly cruel? No. Is Squire Gordon? No. And the children are certainly not cruel. A little unthinking, but not cruel. My job was to amuse the children. I was their dog cart pony. But I'm getting older, and they're growing bigger every day. So the good squire has decided to put me out to pasture to spend my final days in the warm sun for a job well done. That does sound kind. Perhaps someday I too will be so rewarded. You will, Black Beauty, if you are an honest horse. Good morning, sir. I have business in Abbotshire, so hitch Black Beauty to the dog cart, and we'll see what kind of carriage horse we've bought. Well, I must say, he's a well-behaved animal. I was so eager to prove myself to my new master, I wanted to show myself at my best. He's a fine horse, sir. Mr. Manley was a competent handler who drove well. His hands were sweet on the reins, and he didn't work the bit on my mouth as Ginger had told me some do. I was also relieved to find that he didn't use the whip, that terrible thing which I feared so much.
The river is rising, sir. It's all because of the heavy rains up in the hills, sir. There's a big storm coming. Get up, boy. Get up, Judy. Come on, boy. I never thought this of Black Beauty. He seems to lack courage. The river is new to him, sir. I don't believe beauty lacks courage. Come on, boy! Well, this bridge is sturdy enough. at the bridge, the squire accepted me, and I settled in with my new friends, Ginger and Merrylegs. I took the squire on many day trips with Polly and Bertie. <laughs> All right, children, now don't go too far. Here's a bright new penny for each of Thank you, Father. Thank you.
won't hurt you. I'm not afraid. like to have their fortunes told for a penny each. Oh, Bertie, let's have our fortunes told. I don't know. The young master is perhaps afraid to hear? I'm not afraid of anything. Go ahead, tell our fortune. Gypsy, tell us more. I see. You have courage, children. To have courage is to have a strong heart and a thinking head. Please go on. I see a time of testing. I see danger for someone you love. Polly, Bertie, where are you? Bertie, we have to go. Oh, yes, yes, we must go. Thank you. Very well, children. But remember, beware. Beware! <laughs> Belcher! Belcher! Are you smoking in here again? No, Mr. Manley, of course not. Have you finished your work? Yes, Mr. Manley, quite finished.
smell smoke. Smoke? Where's it coming from? Where? There! There! Look! No! No! Not a fire! We must get out! We must! Belcher, show me your pipe. My pipe, sir? Uh, I've got it somewhere here. Uh, um, I must have left it. You must have left it in the stables, you mean. I say that your pipe started this fire. That's a dreadful lie, sir. I never... Filcher, were you smoking in the stables? Uh, well, Squire, um, uh, I may have. Against my strict orders not to? Well, uh... You irresponsible, negligent scoundrel! That fire just cost me my stables, endangered three animals, and nearly caused the death of Mr. Manley! Be off my property first thing in the morning! You hear? You can't do this to me. I'm an honest, hard-working man. That's enough. I'll get even with you for this. You just wait and see. Holly! 
She shouldn't have been out in the night air. Mrs. Bates, please put her to bed. Don't worry, Beauty. Polly will be all right. John, Polly hasn't improved all day and she has a high fever. You must ride for Dr. White at once. I'll go on Black Beauty. I think he'll understand how important this is. All I knew was that Polly needed the doctor. Nothing on earth was going to slow me down. I galloped as fast as I could. What? Who's there? Why, Mr. Manley? What is it? The squire begs that you come at once. Miss Polly has fallen ill with fever. Uh, of course, at once. Uh, but my horse is not here. Take Black Beauty. But please, hurry. Beauty, I know you have run your hardest to come here, but Miss Polly needs help. Run, Beauty, as you have never run before. Doctor, thank heavens you're here. Polly is so ill. Bertie, look after Black Beauty. Beauty, thank you for bringing the doctor. Here's some oats for you. I'm so worried about Polly. I must go to her. I'll come back and cover you up later. Cover him with some blankets, and I'll make up some warm mash. Don't worry, lad. We'll have Beauty back on his feet in no time. It's all my fault. I left him uncovered last night. Beauty is very sick, but he's a young horse with a strong heart. Take courage, lad. I remember the old gypsy spoke of courage. She said courage takes a strong heart and a thinking head, and I didn't think. Shh. How is Beauty, John? He's sinking, I'm afraid, sir. But the next few hours will tell if he's going to pull through. John, you've been up all night. Bertie and I'll stay with Beauty now. You get some sleep. Thank you, sir. How's Miss Polly? Sleeping peacefully. She's over the worst, thank God. Beauty, I want to see Beauty. Oh, Beauty. Polly, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Polly, 
Polly, you must go back to bed. Dr. White says you have to stay there for a few days at least. But Black Beauty needs me. Black Beauty has John and Bertie to care for him. I don't want Bertie to go near Black Beauty. See what he's done to him. I'll never forgive you if Beauty dies. I cannot allow my illness to come between Polly and Bertie. I have to get up. I hate you. I hate you. John! Easy, Beauty. Easy. That's it. Come on, boy. Carefully. Oh, Beauty, you're going to get better. And if you're going to get better, you've got to go straight back to bed. Yes, Miss Polly. Seeing you was just the tonic Beauty needed. Bertie and I can look after him now. Polly, I'm going to try very hard. I do love Black Beauty, you know. I know you do, Bertie. Don't worry, sir. He'll be all right now. Thank you, John, for everything. Goodbye, Black Beauty. Mr. Manley, do you trust me to help care for Black Beauty? The important thing is that Black Beauty trusts you to care for him. You'll see, Master Bertie. A few days and Beauty will get all his strength back. We meet again. What's this? <laughs> Too weak to rear up at me this time. <laughs> well, I guess you'll come with me as quiet as a lamb, eh? It's time you learnt some real work in the pits. Beauty will be so happy to see that you're better. Beauty, where's Beauty? He's been stolen, Miss Polly. Oh, no! What will we do? Your father and I are going to report it to the constable. Father, can we come? Please, Father, please. No, children. You are still not well enough, Polly. Come, John. Off we go. Oh, Bertie, what are we going to do? We just can't stay here. I know. Merry Legs. We'll take Merry Legs and Raffles and go searching for Black Beauty's trail. Come on. Look, there's that awful Mr. Filcher. They want us to follow him. We must think about this. We had best go back for Father and Mr. Manley. Oh no! Oh! Spying on me, eh? I'll fix you. Let me go! Let me go! Oh! Stop, 
Madeline. Ouch! Yow! Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Mm. Ah. Keep still, you brats, or I'll beat him. <laughs> Beauty, no! Don't do that. We'll be still. That's better. <laughs> now, me and this horse are going visiting. You two will be staying here. Wait. Do you think Ruffles and Merrylegs will find their way home? I hope so. Take the children home and go straight back to report Filcher to the constable. Father, no. We must go after Black Beauty. But, Bertie, we don't know where they've gone. <coughs> you know Raffles, don't you? <coughs> Merry Legs and Ginger can find them. Oh, that's absurd. They're only animals. No, it's not, Father. Raffles and Merry Legs led you here. <coughs> you know where they've gone, don't you, Ginger? And so do you, Mary Legs. You see, Father? Trust them, please. It would seem the animals know something, sir. Trust them. Please, please, Father. Very well, children. You come with me in the dog cart. Please, Father. May I ride Mary Legs? Raffles will lead us to beauty. All right, Bertie. Lead the way. where you're going to spend the rest of your days. You'll never see your little Polly again. I told you I'd fix you. Not only do I get even with the squire, but I'll get paid to boot. Come on, Raffles. Which way did they take? This doesn't look good, sir. Why's that, John? That road leads straight to the black country. Come on, it must be this way. The way Ginger is pulling on the bit, I'd say he's right.
Mr. Skinner? <coughs> Mr. Skinner, sir? Well, what is it? I brought you another horse, Mr. Skinner, sir. He looks sickly to me. He's a thoroughbred. I'm bold. And stolen, no doubt. Buying stolen horses hasn't bothered you before. And my money? Not before I see how hard he can work. to drive horses. Gee up, horsey. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> this is how you crack a whip. <laughs> Constable take care of you. Oh, Bertie, you did it, you did it. You said you 
that save Black Beauty for me? Yes, son. What you did took courage. Yes, Bertie. You're as courageous as my Black 